Hi, my name's Sham, also known as Muragaya, and this is my Beyond the Profile. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you grow up? I grew up in South Wales with parents originally from Sri Lanka and I now live in London. How long have you been drawing? Oh shit. Uh, since I was young, since I was a kid. Like, yeah, tiny kid locked in my bedroom. I mean, I locked myself in my bedroom, but just drawing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I locked myself in my bedroom? That sounds weird. Anyway. <laughs> Recently, I've been drawing since 2012. What was your favourite time. subject at school? Art. <laughs> <laughs> what was your favourite TV show growing up? That is a tough one. Pretty lame, but I guess it was The Simpsons. Because it was like on after school. Come home and watch The Simpsons after school. If you could only ever eat one food for the rest of your life, what would it be? Oh, shit. What meal would I eat for the rest of my life? There is an answer to this, but I've completely forgotten it. Cook breakfast. <laughs> What's the best art job you've ever had? Ah, uh, this is tough, 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 tough. Um, most recently, I worked on a project for the Welcome Collection. Yeah, it was kind of a tough subject, but it was about anxiety and depression as a result of the built environment. But it was um, the most freeing project that I could have worked on. What is your favorite animal noise and can you do it? <laughs> so, um, I've I'm been described by my girlfriend as a, a pangolin bear. Um, and pangolins, they kind of don't actually make a noise really, they just do this. So, yeah, that's about it. The bear thing is just because I'm big, you know, hug people a lot. <laughs> Would you rather speak the truth all the time or not be able to speak at all? Speak the truth. Speak the truth. Power to the people. Which artist or creator has influenced you the most in your life? That is a tough one because there's quite a few. But if I were to pick one right now, I would say the film director Alejandro Jodorowsky. He's a tarot card reader. He's a Chilean filmmaker who has kind of renounced Hollywood, but has made the most it's surreal, psychedelic, influential movies. Like his movies influence so many other people. Kanye West, Darren Aronofsky, loads of people. If your flat was on fire, what three things would you rescue? I would rescue my girlfriend, who could probably rescue herself. She'd be doing the rescuing, but um, it would be our two cats. And that's about it. If you had to wear one item of clothing for the rest of your life, what would it be? Something that covers my kind of man area, to be honest, so it would be a pair of boxes. <laughs> Yeah, it would be quite cold, but... Oh shit, actually, no, it would be a coat. It would be a giant long coat, like a really warm one. <laughs> What's the most embarrassing moment you can remember? Being shouted at by my biology school teacher uh, in the middle of the cafeteria so all the kids could see, and then I got shouted at and kind of made to stand in a corner in front of like 200 people. It was embarrassing. What is your signature dance move? Can we see it? Oh, gosh. Um... I don't really have a signature dance move. I just kind of like stand in the corner and like, I just kind of like do this. You know, it's like the Fresh Prince or the Carlton. That's it, the Carlton from the Fresh Prince. But but I can't click my fingers. I'm terrible. I'm just an awful dancer. You've been known to collect trainers. How many pairs do you have? And which are your favorites? Shit, I've got about 60 pairs, unfortunately. But that's not a lot compared to most sneakerheads, I promise. I would say this one. <laughs> Nike Air Max. 97 slash one by Sean Wotherspoon. Uh, classic, inspired by the, got an Air Max One sole and a 97 upper, all vegan, corduroy, love it. Brand new one, Nike SB Lobster uh, by Concepts. Uh, purple lobster, because there's loads of different colors. Um, but if you're a sneakerhead, you know, SBs are kind of like early 2000s. They were the shoe that you have to get. Fat tongue, big laces, they look amazing. And the OG, Air Jordan 1. This is a Nigel Sylvester pair. Nigel Sylvester's a um, biker, and this pair was kind of like beaten up because uh, when he used to wear Air Jordan 1s when he biked around the city, and they'd be all like scratched and stuff. So Nigel and Air Jordan made this pair pre-distressed, which I think is cool because it means that you can get fucking wine on them and shit and it'll be fine. <laughs> this has been me, Muragaya, Beyond the Profile. Check out my work. Or don't. I mean, who gives a shit? And um, yeah, sorry. I actually, no, do, please. Just do, yeah. <laughs>
Or it could be one inanimate object. Fuck no. <laughs> um, a desk lamp. Any reason why? I don't know. You get people get to push my button. <laughs> There's a fucking lamp right in front of me with a button on it. It's the only thing I could think of. <laughs> <laughs>